Hi everyone, today we're gonna go a little bit into low back injuries. A common injury for um, men and women under the age of 40 is to have an issue with the disc in their low back. Uh, what tends to happen is you see that there's a forced flexion injury, which means that if you're at the bottom of your deadlift, your clean, your snatch, anything that's pulling from the ground and you lose your lumbar stability and you flex forward. This can be traumatic, so it can happen just once, or else it can be something that's accumulated over time with bad form on either the Olympic lifts or the deadlifts. This kind of thing is usually diagnosed with MRI, um, but some of the things that you generally tend to see with people that have had an injury to their low back is that they have pain with flexing forward. Getting out of bed, tying your shoes is terrible, and sitting in your car is like your worst nightmare. Um, so if you've just injured your back, one thing that's going to be good for somebody who's had a disc injury is to be on your stomach. The extension position, so opposite of flexing forward, extending back, is your friend in um, the acute phases. And then we're going to show you some releases as you try and return to sport. So Kramer is going to do a traction movement. So basically what traction is, is it's creating just a little bit more space in between the discs. So you're allowing a little bit more room so that essentially you're trying to get a suction type of movement to get the disc back to where it needs to be. So the only thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hang from the bar and let your feet dangle. So what we're used to doing is being in this active braced position, but when you're doing a traction type of movement, you're actually trying to think about your feet being like weights weighing you down. At first, if you're in a really flared up type of state with your back, this could be kind of painful because it's almost shocking because all of the muscles around your back are tight. So just be very, very gentle with how you're getting onto and off of the bar and the amount of relaxation that you're doing throughout your back, okay? Number two, we're gonna do some releases with the foam roller. Whenever you injure your back, you have these two big groups of muscles called your paraspinals. They go into protective mode. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to keep the disc in place. They're trying to make sure that you don't hurt yourself even more. So you, they tend to get really jacked up and swollen. So we're going to do some release on the foam roller. We're going to come down and you're not going to go directly on your spine. So you're going to try and roll to either side, trying to let your body go into extension. So you're going to kind of turn a little bit this way. Yep. So you're going to get into those big erector groups and go back and forth. Yep. So you want to go both sides. If you can, you can extend back. If you're, if that's not a provocative movement for you, but if it is, just be very, very careful. And you want to go from the base of your hip all the way up to the base of the rib cage. So those are kind of the, um, the muscles in the lumbar spine. So those are the ones that you really want to target when you've had a low back injury. So with a disc injury, you want to make sure that you're making sure that your positions are really, really strong and don't go back too early. Low back, guys.